Hey, uh, can I have permission to take a club to the knee <laughs> for this conversation? I've had this thought for a while, and I've uh -oh. given it a lot of I've given it a lot of thought. It's not just hype trains; it's also the uh, cheer <laughs> things that the the um the mega cheer stuff. I mega think. Oh cheer. yeah, okay. The mega the, cheer, for yeah, the you, emotes? You, you, yeah, for okay. the emotes, right? I completely see how helpful it is and how nice it is to be able to collect emotes, right? But I think the unpopular opinion, and first time I'm saying this because I haven't because I haven't fully thought it out or until until recently, Here I think first. Twitch is Exclusive. undercutting one of the best parts of their platform by providing emotes themselves. Example. I don't think that's unpopular. I think a lot of people feel that popular? way. I don't. I, I. I haven't seen it. It's gonna become popular. Yeah. Can you elaborate? I haven't. So. So. Example. The Ayaya emote. Right. Everybody has one. It, and it, you know, it was. And I. It took a lot for my community to pull that out of me because I'm like, oh, you know, things like that. Whatever. You know, I've been a lot more open to doing meme emotes to be able to encourage my community to you know feel ownership around them. But it's like everybody has those. I mean, unless you're like Admiral Baru or another really big popular emote based streamer, you're trying to sell your emotes based off that one. And right, Adorkable right there, that last Ayaya was given to people by Twitch. So if you happen to be in a chat that got the mega cheer, you have an Ayaya emote. You don't need to pay anybody for one anymore. Because <laughs> unless you specifically see a face that you want if like that one's not anime enough or you want you want somebody you want a you want an animal doing an ayaya if you just want the ayaya emote and you didn't want to pay a thing all of a sudden you now have it so then the complete one of the reasons that you know i would be like hey you get this great ayaya emote wait you already have one you got it for free you have it for free. and the same thing kind of happened with um, the cheer emotes that came out, like the cheer tier emotes. Mm -hmm. um, it was like, people are like, oh, you're going to jump into that, right? They're like, oh, bring this emote back. Bring this emote back. Bring this one back. I'm like, I don't want to do that because all you have to do is pay me 25 bucks to get to the tier two and you have that emote forever. You could go away, come back in 10 years and you still have that emote. Whereas people are also you know, paying me five bucks for the, the subscription thing. I feel like it's cannibal, cannibalization in a way. And it's great that people are being a, are able to grow their bin of emotes, but it also makes it less likely for people that have good ideas to be able to be like, to be able to have that value proposition of like, hey, you know, five bucks, you get these emotes. Yeah, but, but wait, mm -hmm. Twitch, already has, Twitch already has them. What like, if you evolve your emotes? Been. In other words, what if you're changing your emotes and say, this is the ones that you get early for donating bits, and eventually they're going to be sub-emotes, but you can have them early if you do this and just kind of flow them in that way. There are different, I, way, there are different ways to go around it. I agree. Right. And like, some of the ways that I looked about, like maybe the Twitch, the, the, bit, the bit tier emotes is to have like emotes that are complementary to the main set that right. don't replace the main set, but it would be nice to have. So like, I know, a popcorn or a little word bubble or something like right. that. Right. But it it's it's just this um I don't know, it's this feeling of like you're trying to help us. Twitch is trying to help us make make this viable. Right. This is like just make more money, just make this viable and it seems like it's been harder to sell our main product, which is emotes. Subscriptions, emotes. The the whole like value proposition of being able to like i want to support you i get something back well Granted, but, but it's like, bits does so support you though too like in, like in fact you get a hundred percent of the bits that you get so by getting an emote from that like like that person may not like there are people that never sub to me but they'll, they'll drop bits and like they're not dropping it for the emotes but they're just getting something out of it now and yeah, like it's and also like so, a, a forward true, investment. And I, see, and I see it. Yeah, and I and I I see it. I see it both ways because like my my channel, for instance, is a very sub heavy channel, and I don't mm. like I rarely, if ever, get get cheers because I don't I don't position myself for that. It's right. like I want to be able to have that number, and you know, like I care more about the subs. I care more about people having my emotes because I've now positioned myself in having an original character. Her face is on those emotes. And like, I want you to be able to like love these as much as people love pandas. 
you know? And so I'm, I'm approaching emotes in a different way than I did last year or the year before, but, this, but it made me realize how there's a chance that if you're putting an emote out that Twitch all of a sudden can possibly give that emote type out for free. But it's not and for free though. That's the thing. The RPG emotes you have to earn by that's from people subbing, gifting subs, cheering, like other people are doing it though. So people, people are like, Hey, I want like the, the mega cheers are like, I want this person or to, I want everybody to get these emotes. So people will just kind of. Right. But you're still getting money that. from that. Like you're still benefiting from that. It's still monetization. It's just Twitch is doing right. the work for that, you. That's if it's happening in, in, if it's happening in your channel. Yeah. <laughs> but if you hang out in a larger channel where a lot of the, you know, where the hype trains where that it, it's, it's the benefit, the, I see the benefit and I completely agree that the benefits there. Don't get me wrong. It's, just very it doesn't make things predictable and i think the the big first one was like twitch prime twitch prime comes out yeah you can sub with twitch prime it made sub numbers completely unpredictable at that point because you don't you <laughs> couldn't very true it's very it's a very unpredictable landscape whereas being able to opt in via subbing way back when was very predictable you knew exactly who was paying you exactly when you yeah. kind of hit on something inadvertently there by saying you went into a bigger channel and as a result you got those emotes right because yeah. they had mm. a hype train or a sub train or whatever going on there mm. at the end of the day the fact that it is giving an additional benefit from that where people will go and support those bigger channels is it maybe another way of twitch saying you know we want to do something for our big channels too we want to help them out as well so yeah. you know we all understand how this works in the entertainment industry there's hmm. big people who are making a lot of money for Twitch, and they need some benefit out of these features as well. And if they're not getting any benefit out of a feature, it likely doesn't become a feature on the website. I mean, the RPG so, stuff helps like mid-level streamers too, though. Like, sure. Like in a, in a big way, because like, yeah, you go to ten thousand viewer channel, the chances of you actually getting one of those, like, there's a cap on like how big, like, someone tiers like a hundred thousand bits. There's definitely a cap of like how many people are getting stuff. Like, you go to a smaller right. channel, you're way more likely. To get something if it's popping off like it really just depends on the nature of your channel i don't think it right. undercuts i don't know i mean it depends on like again like avalon you're saying you rely a lot on subs like i feel like for me i don't typically get a lot of subs i get more support via cheering so like mm. getting a benefit getting an emo from cheering is so just much. kind of like a, a, a like a, a a passive thing it's like a okay yeah you can cheer a thousand bits you're probably just doing that to support the stream if you're a mid-level streamer, people just do it to support you. They don't really do it oh, for yeah, the benefit. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I do see the issue with um, constantly doing these these like mega cheer things and these emotes where it gets to the point where there are just so many emotes that it just is saturated. Like, yeah, they're just like you, there are emotes you don't even know you have and you'll never use. I, I mean, I think we've crossed that like, threshold. I, I, I do think it's yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty close if it's not there well, yet. Yeah. I mean, there's a possibility that like my business plan was too late. Like I should have done this years ago. Like, I mean, there's yeah. definitely a possibility there. I'm willing to admit fault, but I think you know, we I'm all already, have I'm that. already in there. Yeah. So well, right. I mean, I but, think also but at the same time, it's like if I if I have an emote and I'm going to use that, I, I look at a lot of people who say aren't subbed and I'm like, OK, well. People people will say in my chat, oh, I you know, they use this because they like these they like the emotes and they sub even though they don't watch that person. There yeah. are streamers out there who are mainly subbed for for their emotes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's that business fair. model exists. But so those are the people that are, I guess, affected. And that's since I've been since I've been trying to position myself in that way. I it sort of revealed itself to me, but I'm not, you know, obviously not saying that, like, that's why I think it, it was unpopular because there's so many positive things that come out of it. Like you were saying, Loco. Yeah. You know, how, how could you have that? Which is why I never dared say it on Twitter because I couldn't defend myself that way. <laughs> Good luck. And Try now you're it. here. I would, yeah, much, I, would, wow. but I, would, I would much rather do it this way, though, because we can actually have a discussion. Yeah. Well, don't say anything on Twitter. Just say, hey, I'm all alive. That's it. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. The day is sunny. That, that, was, no, that was sort of the thing I had behind that. So, like, hype trains have you have that collection. So, like, if you have all 30 emotes for a hype train, unless you have that extra wanting to support that streamer, which is the which is what we would all assume people have, but not necessarily because people like collecting stuff. Right. right? I just don't know how then, many people do sub just for emotes. And even so, to your point, if you have all the emote slots, if 
five bucks for 50, 60 emotes, it's still a pretty good deal. If you like the style, you're still getting a really, really that's, good deal. That's valuable. That, I mean, that's, that's exactly one of the reasons I positioned it that way, because it's like, hey, instead of you, you get 60 for this, mm -hmm. but I don't, will that work? I don't know. I guess we'll talk well, in a year. Divide it by months too. Like how often do you True, get yeah, subs yeah. That, that go for a year? Like, you know, a hundred dollar emote is almost two years worth of subs right there. So, mm -hmm. and you yeah. get all of that, not 50%. So it, in, in a lot of ways, it's almost, you know, it's over three years worth of subs that you're getting in one shot from bits just yeah, for fair. one emote. So. Yeah. I mean, that was, that it, was something that I would say that's too. That's good math. I think it's one of the, I mean, I love, I loved, I wanted to bring it up here because there are so many different dynamics, especially in like in the chat, like you have all these different types of, you know, these, these different types of viewers, different types of streamers right. that view these things differently. And I, I wanted to be able to extract that convers kind of conversation rather than like, no, you're trash, Twitter, blah. Well, no, I can give oh, you no. a, a kind it's of like... a weird perspective on this too. Like, this is something that you might not even consider. So the average viewer in my channel isn't a sub. And there's a reason behind that. It's because my average viewer is from a country where subbing is a lot more expensive. Mm. To be fair, it's about 20 times more expensive to sub to somebody on Twitch in Russia than it would be in America. So for them to take a percentage of their monthly income and to give it to me as if they are a tier three off the bat is is huge so a lot of them will regularly show up on a channel because free emotes are like wow they're worth so much more to do that so when they see you know the big people come in there and they sub they're like oh my god and they'll support you you'll get more viewers as a result so mm -hmm. in that perspective i see when when somebody can sub when somebody one of my american or european you know subscribers is able to do something nice like gift subs and they're very very generous to especially to uh, the Russians there, will they give subs and do everything that way because they understand it? You know, for them to be able to have that, or them to be able to say, "Man, I got to take part of my monthly income," and I'm not saying that Americans aren't subject to that too; they are as well, but more so over there. Um, yeah. But be able to, you know, purchase that sub for somebody to be able to gift that to be able to have a hype train, and a lot of people get that sort of stuff. It actually is a bigger thing for the channel because you get those viewers as a result, people will show up, you know? So there's a lot of different facets to it. I mean, at the end of the oh, day, totally, once yeah. again, we need to make money to be able to sustain this. And I tell my viewers that, and I'm sure you all tell them at some point, you would love to be able to do this for free, but none of us are independently wealthy here. So we can't do this for free. So we free. need to have some sort of justification <laughs> to be able to spend four, six, 10 hours a day to be able yeah. to do this. For me, I go to a job after this, uh, or before this, rather. I work, I come home, I stream. I work, I come home, I stream. So I, I'm able to take a lot of the edge off, but still, I need to make some sort of income to be able to make this work. If I have no subs or bids today, this is done. I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So we, if you have one person in your channel that's able to foot the bill for 50 others, and those 50 others are going to hang out as a result of maybe getting a sub here or maybe getting this there or being part of a hype train or being able to sub once or even donate once and be able to get something and have a permanent part of it. Like we had a big debate in my channel, my mod channel about taking one emote that I have called all previet. All previet means hi. Oh, hi in Russian. And it's a big mm. thing. It went crazy as a result. There's some memes for that. You'll see some in chat. I'm sure as a result of me saying that, but we debated whether or not we wanted to keep O Previet as a sub emote versus a bid emote. And my justification mm -hmm. was I want O Previet to be a $5 emote that somebody can buy and they can be able to use it in my channel because everybody says that when they come in my channel because that's what I'm known for in Russia. Mm -hmm. We ended up keeping it as a subscriber emote just I don't remember what the basis was, but it was it seemed like it made a lot more sense, especially since bits the way that they cost and the cost to do stuff internationally, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I digress. The whole point is there's ways to position this to make this a more important value to your channel. Have certain emotes that you want people to have as be a part of your ingrained community for non-subs and subs alike. And they can kind of join for that $5 entry fee and pay no more. Consider yeah. it like, do you ever play TF2? Where TF2, if you did one microtransaction, you got access to everything. But mm -hmm. if you didn't, it was free to play. Um, Path of Exile is kind of like that too. Buy stash yeah, tabs yeah. in Path of Exile. And I then you never have to buy anything else. POE whale. <laughs> oh, me too. Huge POE whale. No, me too. You, my character is literally on fire at all times. <laughs> I, I love it.
<laughs> yeah, but that is, um, that is related to what you're talking about, right? That that a similar kind of free to play model for certain types of games, right? I think you purchase kind of once and you're in, and those. you can have like that that <laughs> emote that I'm now a part of the community, the and well, I, I don't have to be, anything. you know, basically it's 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 a stipend for some people to be able to pay you every month. And it's like, I can't justify necessarily doing that to some of my viewers. So if I can give them something for five bucks, you know, maybe I'll do that. 